Look, I think it's really important to get a little bit philosophical, so stick with me for a moment. I think the things which unite us do make us stronger and values exemplified by various historic examples, lessons learned, those moments which define what we're made of are really, really important. If only we studied these things, if only the classics, the principles, the roots of Western society were actually being taught to the next generation of leaders. The greats of history understood those values which underpin, underpin our Western liberal democratic traditions, people like Edmund Burke, you know, that bloke who said, for evil to triumph, good men do nothing. That's a paraphrase, but he did say it. But the unity and equality inspired by Lincoln's Gettysburg Address also sticks in my mind. So do many speeches about personal efforts and rewards uh, for those efforts and how personal prosperity drives a civil and stable and safe society. Lincoln said all those things, all philosophically sound. Churchill's multiple wartime calls for unity never been forgotten by those who remember what happened during the Second World War. And of course, in more recent times, even John F. Kennedy asked not what your country can do for you, but what you can do for your country. It's principles. We remember those great orations. So many inspirational people saying inspirational things at times which needed leadership. And aren't we in those times right now? Each were apparently inspired by, wait for it, Pericles and the great funeral oration of 431 BCE. It was described as the greatest speech of all time. I mean, this predated Plato. Pericles' inspirational observations included things such as freedom is the sure possession of those alone who have the courage to defend it. Remember the Anzacs? Pericles was a nobleman and a general, but he railed against elites. Respect for the individual and equal justice under the law was inspired by the words of Pericles two and a half thousand years ago. He wanted every person, not just wealthy elites, being able to run for public office. He was the great democracy maker. He took principles. Pericles invoked the respect of others and their personal choice. He said amongst many things thousands of years ago. He said, far from exercising a jealous surveillance of each other, we do not feel called upon to be angry with our neighbour for doing what he likes. That's a she as well. Pericles spoke of the example of liberalism, of democracy, of how equality and openness enhance community greatness. He said, advancement in public life falls to reputations for capacity, class considerations not being allowed to interfere with merit. He talked about merit. Our ordinary citizens, though occupied with the pursuits of industry, are still fair judges of public matters. The mob never get it wrong, John Howard said. Pericles said, we live exactly as we please, and yet we are just as ready to encounter every legitimate danger. In other words... When the going gets tough, the tough get going. So Pericles talked about trusting the people, talked about values, equality of opportunity, not allowing the wealthy and the famous elites a premium treatment. Pericles, two and a half thousand years ago, railed against elitism. But today, Western society has just ceded so much control, so much sway and say to elites. And his words from all those years ago, though, are still inspirational to the great orators of recent times. Yet... The education elites today don't want any of this taught. They don't want kids to know about this stuff. They don't want generations inspired. Boy, do we need that right now and into the future to rally us against the oppression we're facing right now. Where are the Churchills? Where are the Burks? Where are even the Kennedys of today? Right now, Western, the Western world needs strong, value-based and principled leadership. It's just not evident. We have some real duds around the world. And, of course, then there's our provincial premiers. How could I avoid them? Here in Australia, their mission doesn't seem to be to inspire any form of confidence during a time of distress, but rather they're more preoccupied with how to divide us up, their lack of humanity and humility, the smug disregard for the plight of everyday people, the catering for the elites. It's completely contrary to liberal democratic values and they arrogantly proclaim in their daily dramas of their own making that they're keeping us safe.
But who's actually keeping us safe from them? Andrews, Palaszczuk, McGowan, they all have to go. Just chuck them out. Find a way. Vote them out. At the very least, they should stop creating more division and more hurt. They should end these daily media scrums on death designed to justify their elitist outlook on our society. Because if they were noble, they would resign. If they were noble, they wouldn't take a pay rise. And for the greater good of our nation, for their failures of Western liberal democratic values, they need to go. We need an end to their tyranny. We need a return of trust. We need a return of principles. And we need freedom for all Australians. Keen to know what you think, hashtag Hardgrave. If you want to send me a tweet, you're very welcome. You can write to me directly, gary.hardgrave at skynews.com.au.